history of even even child acting. What were your kind of expectations for even what he was going to do with it? Because sometimes people can be skeptical of when an actor gets into that lane, but it really feels like he he fell into it seamlessly and really kind of handled it uh, perfectly. Yeah, I was, I was, that was some of the part whenever it was like he was directing it, like he was producing and directing it. That was sort of, that was what I was skeptical of at first. Now, definitely knowing his history in the industry is like, I didn't, ex- I did, wasn't expecting like, oh, this is just going to be, this is going to be horrible and terrible right. or whatever. Um, but sometimes, like as a direct, as an actor, and then coming to a director, sometimes it takes people who who have been on the other side of the lens. It takes time for their vision and stuff to mature. Mm-hmm. Um, from the the anecdote, at least the anecdotal things that I that I often hear is that actors a lot of times make really good directors because they because they know um, what it's like to to be on to to be in front of the camera, and so right. they're a little bit so they're so they're usually actors are usually not always but usually good um, directors and stuff to work for. But I was very impressed with the maturity of his vision, and if you had told me that this was his directorial debut. Um, I would like, like I, like if I, I would if have they thought hadn't it was like his it, third or fourth. I wouldn't yeah, have thought like it was if, his actual first. If they hadn't said, like, I, I was really skeptical about it. I was like, okay, but, but did like, did he go to film school? Like what, like, so, like, is this just his first, is this his, his first, you know, kind of studio film or something like that? But his vision, his vision for this movie um, was, was very mature for somebody that, you know, obviously he's been in the industry and all of that, but he just did very well. And then the fact that he, and I actually asked him this, I had the opportunity to interview him and um, Jonathan Majors very, just very briefly. We only had, it was like a little, it was a junket. It was a press junket. So it was only, um, I only had about, I think my, my, my interview uh, recording was only like 12 minutes long or something like that. But I actually asked him um, what it was like directing himself. And he was saying that, you know, there's a, there's a lot more added responsibility to be an actor and the director. There's a lot more added responsibility of being the director. But honestly, um, you know, I think that, that, uh, Michael B. Jordan should direct himself in more movies. Um, You know, and, and that was something too, that I felt like a lot of Adonis's, um, a lot of his scenes, like it didn't, like the movie is about him. Adonis is in the movie, but it felt like he wasn't like in the movie as much. Yeah. And you would think like, you know, an, an actor would be like, oh, I'm being, I'm being loved like I've ever seen. But I think that he should direct himself a lot more. I think that, that his performance was so, was so strong. He was able to, he was able to bring a range out in his acting um that i have not previously seen before and i'm not an extensive um connoisseur of his work um but even just thinking about comparing him um against the different creed movies i felt like that there was that there was um a little bit more depth that he was able to bring out in adonis and 